Tell me about the good old days Sometimes it feels like This world's gone crazy That's good, we're rolling. Hi friends, back from my half acre homestead here. I just want to share something with you. Um, yesterday, uh, I don't know if you saw my video about the dehydrated mushrooms and all that stuff. Um, that was on Thursday. Yesterday, which was Friday, my mother-in-law and I went back to the same store and those mushrooms were all gone. Even though they had limited them, those mushrooms were all gone and they had a lot. <sighs> then we went to, yesterday, we went to the produce stand where we had bought strawberry, the strawberries for the jam in the video I made earlier. And when I bought those strawberries on Saturday, a week ago today, they were $20 a flat. Yesterday, six days later, they were $25 a flat. I kid you not. I kid you not. But I bought some more anyway, but not a whole flat like I was going to. So they just lost a customer because they're charging too much. But it was also a vegetable stand. And they had uh, a big box. I hope you can see it over there. That great big nine head cauliflower box full of stuff like this. But there was more. There was... Uh, lettuce and the wilted leaves off the outsides of cauliflower and cabbage and stuff and I said uh, what's that and she said oh it's compost and I said oh well how much do you want for it and she said oh I can't sell you that but I can give it to you so I said great my goats will love it but look at this folks again now this is only part of it I had already this is only about 40 percent of what was in the box uh, another 40% went straight to my goats. It was all lettuce leaves, and, but they weren't garbage. They weren't rotting. They were just slightly wilted, okay? There were lettuce leaves. There was cabbage leaves. They all went out to the goats. Um, maybe 10% actually went into the compost. And this, there's a lot of green onions, green onion tops and carrots and things here. I'm going to peel and save the best for, my, for canning in jars in my pressure canner. The rest and all the peels and all the bits, I'm going to dehydrate and mix it with my rabbit pellets. Free food for us, free food for the rabbits. You gotta love it. And I chopped up all these beautiful green onion tops and I peeled all the carrots and I'm chopping them now because I'm going to can them. But I got it for nothing. And all the skins and tops of the, of the carrots and any little softer ones and all the vegetable tops and bottoms and things like that I just cut up and I put in my dehydrator and I'm going to mix that with my rabbit pellets okay also um, a couple of days ago I roasted and boiled a whole whack of beef bones This is pure beef broth and it's chilled and this is this turns into jelly. But I got 22 half pint jars of broth and I still had enough broth to put those green onions in that broth and that broth was good. Put those green onions in the rest of the broth and slice up another onion and make an onion soup stock for canning. And, and when all that broth, before I canned any of it, when it cooled down, it had 
five and a half cups of fat on top, which I took off and I washed by boiling it with clean water. And I made five pounds of soap. So I'm gonna show you when all this is done, what I could do with a roasting pan full of bones and a box of vegetable stand throw away. And as the economy takes this nosedive, and it's not going to get better, folks. It may temporarily get better, but economic, uh, government bailouts and stuff, they're only bandages. They really are only bandages, okay? Money is no good if you can't eat it. So, don't be afraid to say, what's that? Now, we're not poor people, okay? We're not. But one of the reasons we're not poor people is because I refuse to throw away anything that can be of use. And as the economy takes this nosedive, and it's not going to get better, folks. It may temporarily get better, but economic, uh, government bailouts and stuff, they're only bandages. They really are only bandages, okay? Money is no good if you can't eat it. So, don't be afraid to say, what's that? And, and if they say, oh, that's compost or that's garbage, you say, oh, can I have that for my pigs or goats or whatever? Yes, my goats got some and my rabbits got some. And for the people who live in the city, you keep an eye on your big major grocery stores for when their produce comes in on the trucks. Because nine times out of 10, before they even go into the store, they sit right on the docking bay and sort them. And anything that maybe have a soft spot or, oh yeah, and I got a bunch of tomatoes that had a soft spot on them and I've thrown those in my freezer and I'm gonna make a bottle of ketchup out of that. Thanks for the idea, Noreen. I usually wait till I have lots, but I can make one bottle. But you can wait until you get to know the local grocery stores that have big produce sections that come in on trucks and they'll sort them right on the docking bay and when they do that don't be afraid to say hey what are you doing with that and if they say it's throwaway you say can I have it for my pigs nine times out of ten they'll say sure if they think you're taking it home and feeding your family with it they'll put cellophane over it and Bob's your uncle they will try and sell it to you in the store just a just a hint for the day but when i'm done all this canning what you hear is my pressure canner over there and it's canning my onion soup i'm going to lay all my soap my broth my carrots my onion soup my dehydrated vegetables for my for my rabbits and i'm going to show you exactly what a roasting pan full of bones and a box of garden center throw off not garden center roadside produce stand throw off will get you Okay, this is Bev from My Half Acre Homestead. Have a great day. Grandpa, tell me about the good old days.
but I got 22 half pint jars of broth. 